Well, the holidays are right around the corner. They Can you are. believe it? Yeah, <laughs> some will celebrate at home, others by taking a quick road trip. And there is a new reason to stop in the Bay Area. ABC 10's Marcus Salen joins us live at the Craneway Pavilion in Richmond. So, Mark, I understand that people can get a taste of outer space as we look at the beautiful San Francisco this morning. Yeah, they can. I wanted to show you that shot across the bay. You see the abyss beyond it, the skyline. And speaking of abyss, yes, we are sending you to space, specifically the International Space Station. Uh, I didn't realize how close this is. About an hour and 15 minutes for me this morning. It'll be the same for you. And it launches today, going on through the end of the year, a chance for STEM students or, for that matter, anybody in the human race to go to space. Take a look. Space Explorers The Infinite is a multi-educational and Emmy award-winning one-of-a-kind experience opening this weekend for an exclusive Northern California run at the historic Crane Docks in Richmond. It's an extraordinary opportunity for all to board the space station, but its application to science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, or STEM-based educational programs is also being embraced by school systems. I'm fascinated by the power of these virtual reality experiences to create empathy and to create connection. So we'll see where that takes us. Felix Lejuvenes is the Emmy Award winning French Canadian filmmaker who created this on the space station with astronauts and said that empathy was their hope. It's because all of the astronauts that have been to space uh, come back and talk about this experience of being able to witness planet Earth as a whole. I got to tag along with Orso, a 10-year-old STEM-ready student, and his mom, Monica, during the experience. If you were to tell one of your friends right now how cool this is, what would you tell them? It's like VR, but you're not stuck in like this circle. You just look around. You like you don't know where you're walking, but you're exploring. It's, it's like really cool. It looks so real because it is real, and you're hearing from the astronauts live up there in the in the International Space Station. You're hearing what they're doing, how they're communicating with each other, the sciences that they're using to help better our lives on Earth, as well as help develop new technologies. It's super incredible. It is super. Cool, super amazing. By the way, I don't know if you caught her name, the director of operations of the uh, center. Her name's Lex Luther. Luther. Lex Luther. And I said, oh, like Alexa Luther? She goes, no, it's Lex Luther, which I think is super cool. Uh, check it out. It really is amazing. Look, I'm not a sappy, soft kind of person, but I am telling you, the moment you step into this VR experience, uh, it's going to leave you changed. I, I was literally crying. It's so immersive and so absolutely beautiful. Historical, you should know, that used to be a Ford assembly plant. World War II came along. They gutted it. They started assembling planes. It's where Rosie the Riveter uh, was launched. That, that phrase was coined from right here. And now it's taking you to space. Definitely something to, uh, something to consider now through uh, the end of the year. Look at me. I'm getting all geeked out, excited <laughs> about it. I can't wait to get back in there with you guys. Back. Mark, that is so awesome. Just speaks to the attention to detail there that it could move you so much and gives people a closer look at space before we could actually get there soon. Awesome. Thank you, Mark.